Here in Alberta, Canada, where the prairies meet the Rocky Mountains, a new process has been developed which increases farmers' profits and, at the same time, reduces some of the harmful effects that modern farming has on the environment. It's called bioactive emissions technology and it could change the way food and other crops are grown. This somewhat revolutionary idea harnesses the exhaust from a farm tractor and uses it to stimulate microbial activity in the soil. The process not only helps root and plant growth as well as yield, it reduces the negative effects that heavy, repeated doses of chemical fertilizer have on the soil. And by sequestering the exhaust in the soil, it has the positive effect of reducing CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. Tractor exhaust is cooled and conditioned, pumped through a series of pipes to the seeder or tillage equipment and injected into the soil with the seed. The exhaust from diesel tractors contains approximately 79% dinitrogen, 11% oxygen, 7% CO2, 3% H2O, and 2,000 parts per million nitrogen oxide and other gases. Injecting the exhaust into the soil raises the CO2 level, which, in turn, stimulates free living nitrogen-fixing bacteria that produce amino acids and other microbial life. Boosting the carbon supply to the soil also increases soil moisture retention. It frees up calcium and phosphorus, which are growth-limiting elements in most soils. By freeing up calcium and phosphorus in saline soil, the plant roots are able to withstand the salt. The exhaust causes a change in the plant's physiology so that it can absorb more CO2 from the atmosphere. Diesel, biodiesel, natural gas, and gasoline all offer similar exhaust properties. The type of fuel used can be blended to match the micronutrient needs of the plants. The heavy metals, oxidized by internal combustion, are converted into nutrients which are essential to microbial life and plants. Crop yields have increased by using the bioactive process. Root to shoot ratios improved and consequently crops became more drought tolerant. Higher test bushel weight on grain has been recorded. Protein levels have been maintained and soil fertility improved. Bioactive fed plants have a higher sugar content, which makes them more insect resistant. By reducing or totally cutting out the use of chemical fertilizer, which benefits the land, production costs can be substantially reduced. And, of course, that means greater profit for the farmer. Bioactive emissions technology is now in use on over a half a million acres in Canada and the United States. NC Quest's carbon capturing technology can be adapted to any type of equipment emitting exhaust. It even works on lawnmowers. The custom fitting of the equipment is key to the success of the process. NC Quest's expertise allows it to work with large air drills used in North America to seed crops, to small tractors, seeders, and tillage equipment commonly used on farms in Asia and Africa. Scientific trials are ongoing and the results continue to be promising. Field trials in Manitoba, partially funded by the National Research Council of Canada, show that exhaust emissions positively affect crop growth, yield and quality and that it accelerates crop emergence on wheat, oats and canola. Other trials on barley, corn, beans and peas show a stronger root structure and improved yields over crops grown conventionally. Comparing existing farming practices involving the use of chemical fertilizer with the new bioactive emissions technology, major differences become apparent. Fertilizer compacts the soil and creates anaerobic conditions where organisms can't grow. The soil becomes less fertile as the pH goes out of balance. Fertilizer application is expensive and increases the costs of production, therefore reducing a farmer's profit margin. And each kilogram of commercial nitrogen fertilizer applied to a field creates about 18 kilograms of CO2. With the bioactive method, the benefits are numerous. When tractors are used for tilling or seeding, they emit exhaust anyway. By capturing it and using it to stimulate plant growth, not only are emissions that harm our environment being reduced, 
a biological reaction occurs that enable plants to absorb more CO2 from the atmosphere during their entire life cycle. The bioactive method results in increased profits for farmers, healthier soil, and a reduction of CO2 in the atmosphere. These farmers are using bioactive technology. This is what they have to say about it. We did find that the roots were bigger and crops looked healthy. But our, our biggest um, final result was high protein. We had, in a, in a year when there was a lot of 9 and 10 percent protein wheat, we averaged about 14 percent. Most of our soil is high salinity and some is extreme. And where it's extreme, it's either grown nothing or just weeds and has cost us quite a bit because we farm it every year or try to farm it every year. So last year we were able to actually seed into just about all of it and get some crop off it. Well this technology, the total cost of it when it was all said and done didn't didn't take quarter of a fertilizer bill on the whole farm. So you're talking 200,000 down to 50,000. I mean, and that's this technology you see here, that's a one-time cost.